Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer with a blurry or distorted webcam or camera picture quality. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, Best results should come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, underneath Options, you want to select Other Troubleshooters. And then underneath Other, scroll down again and select the Camera Troubleshooter and the corresponding Run option. And then I suggest following along with whatever prompts it gives you here. So we're going to go ahead and just consent to running an automated diagnostic tool and it'll go ahead and actually check and see if it's able to resolve the problem automatically. And then you can see it did reset our camera services and then at that point attempt to relaunch whatever application or medium you're using your webcam with like Skype or Zoom or Google Hangouts for example and then hopefully that would have resolved the problem. However, if you are still having an issue, something else we can try here as well. If you open up the search menu and search for device manager, best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the camera section. Again, you should see cameras in here. If you don't see it, you might have to select view and select show hidden devices. And then you would double click on the camera selection, assuming you had a camera connected to your computer. Right click on the camera listed under here and then you would select update driver, select browse for computer for drivers, select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer, and then select the driver that it suggests installing that's related to your camera, and then select next. And then once you were finished with that, you should restart your computer. So just make sure you save and close any of any open applications and then restart your device. So now hopefully this point issue should have been resolved. You can also go onto the manufacturer's website of the device, the developer's site, and see if there are any new drivers or software packages available for your computer or for specifically your webcam. And that would be another avenue I would look to for solving the problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.